Hello, everyone. Good day. Um, I thought I'd come in here and show y'all the outfit of the day. I did have another appointment, but I only got one item, but tomorrow I will have the rest of my items, except for one thing. It keeps coming in very late. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. If it don't get here in a little while, I'm going to have to check up on it. It's one item that I really want. It's like a cream cheek color and an eyeshadow color and it hasn't got here all the other things got here like the complex couture uh palettes and my everything like everything that i ordered has got here except for this one item but there will be a few more items that i got for oh gosh amazing deal so yeah you guys so i have one item right here and then i'm gonna stand up and show y'all the outfit of the day all right i was exercising y'all and i just happened to think which i i just walk that's what i do right now and um and i happened to think i said oh gosh uh you forgot to do a video because I got in a heavy situation and we'll talk about that in a little bit just a little bit because I gotta get back to my exercise I like to get done at a certain time and this is the best time for me to exercise right now so we're gonna try to get right to it and yeah y'all let me go ahead and uh, tell y'all all right so if y'all have not used Mali Beauty Cosmetics, y'all should. I have a foundation. Let me get it for y'all. I have this foundation here, which I'm about to, I ain't gonna say nothing. But I got this foundation like, I don't know when, y'all. I think it was, um, I think it was the year 2020 when I got this product. This is a foundation that I recommend if you're getting married. This is like the perfect uh, foundation. I, I consider it like for real. When I get married, I want this foundation. Okay. This foundation makes your skin look so beautiful. This is the Flawless Finish Transforming Effect Foundation. Uh, this is very, very beautiful. It might come in another package because, like I said, when I ordered this product, um, it was um, it was like in 2021, I believe, or 20. I can't remember when did I get this foundation. I think it was last year. No, I think it was. 2020 the year 2020 i think this is so beautiful and so gorgeous i consider this my wedding day makeup this i mean it just has such a beautiful like i say flawless finish okay so i've used molly or molly it's a molly molly molly's cosmetics and i've used this one and i also got a that little um liner with the stamp on the side of it i got that one too um and it's over here so those were the two products that i got you got a stamp for one eye here to create a wing y'all a wing liner so and then you got the other side for the other eye so i got this okay and i love those products as you can tell i've used it a lot so when i went online i saw this foundation here by molly it's the molly um effortless airbrush perfect skin mousse all right y'all i've already put it on my hand like if you can see it came brand new it's so beautiful y'all i put it on and it is a mousse but then it shears out very nice i'm just like oh my goodness I'm getting all these fabulous foundations that is very natural that I've been looking for for the longest time. I'm finally getting to, like, I'm just, like, I feel like now I'm taking my time. I don't care how long it takes me. I used to be a type of person, I was real fast at picking things and not really taking my time when it comes down to online shopping and stuff like that. Um... And so now I really take my time and read stuff and look at it and see what it says it's supposed to do and stuff like that. Y'all, since I've been doing that, I have been picking the most fabulous, 
products, even clothing items. I got compliments today, y'all, like crazy. Like somebody asked me, where did I buy my clothes? Where did I get it? I had my, um, I gonna show it to y'all because I haven't showed that video quite yet. But I had a top on top of this one. And I have on these pants and I show it to y'all. Y'all be the first to see it. Um, but anyways, I just been really taking my time and getting clothes that I feel like is going to work for everything. And when I say everything, I mean like for appointments, for doctor appointments, uh, office appropriate clothes, and also clothes for court. Any kind of situation like that. I've got some clothes to wear now. I've got all kinds. Clothes for dating, clothes for a girl's night out or something with friends. So many different clothes I got now that now I don't even really have to buy too much clothes. Uh, however, I'm accepting clothes. Any of you um, companies want to send me some clothes, send me some. Okay, send me some clothes. But anyways, I can never get enough clothes because I know what it is to not have clothes, okay? We've talked about that, you know, the robbery and everything. So I never get enough of anything now after that. I really don't. It, I, I know what it is not to have anything, and it's terrible. And now it's like the more the better, <laughs> you know? Anybody that's been through that, you know what, how it feels if you've ever been robbed of everything. Not just one thing, but everything. But anyways, let's get to this foundation. So this foundation is going to be, I feel like it might be a competitor with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. Do I think it's going to beat this one? Look how much I use. I don't think so. But <laughs> it is, when I when I put some of this new uh, foundation by Miley Beauty, when I rubbed it across my skin, it felt so good. It's, it starts out like a mousse, and then when you rub it on, it shears out. And I looked at it, and I went like, Oh gosh, that feels good on my skin. It feels natural. And that's what this makeup does. It feels natural. It looks natural. I have it on. I've been wearing it nonstop, y'all. Look how much I got left in there. Like, that's how much more I have left in there. That I use it on a regular basis. And so, this right here is the Mali Effortless Airbrush Perfect Skin Mousse. And what it claims is that... It doesn't have a description, but I bet I can find one online. I'm sure I can. It says, do not dispense directly on the face or near the eyes. To use, please dispense product in the palm of your hand. So you have to put it on your hands and then put it on or with a brush or a beauty sponge. Put it on that and then go in and um, apply it on the face. But it says, do not put this on your eyes. So I won't, I never do. I never put any of my foundations on my eyes. Y'all know I go in with a um, concealer or something like that with my eyes and everything else I use like makeup products as far as on my face and stuff. So remember if you were to buy this or you think that this might be something you might be interested in, then um, do not just like spray this right on your face because this stuff will get in the eyes. And remember, do not put this product on your eyes. So, yeah, you just put it on your applicator. Spray some on your applicator, whether it's a brush, beauty sponge, or your hand. And then rub it in and then put it on your face, not on your eyes, okay? But anyways, you guys, this felt so smooth. I can't wait to try this. However, there's a few more products coming tomorrow. So I feel like I think I'm going to use this product tomorrow, okay? Maybe tomorrow. And also use the eyeshadow palette here. This one, Oakland Neon Splash. I want to use this. I got ready to use it this, this morning and I said, no, nope, I'm going to wait until I create a makeup video and show it to y'all so y'all get to see how well these colors look, how beautiful they look on my, um, how good they look on me and also how good they blend or do they blend out not so good 
whatnot. We're going we gonna to do a first impression video. This will be a first impression. I've never used this Mally Effortless Airbrush Perfect Skin Mousse, but I know that airbrush makeup is like natural makeup. That's why I say that 4-in-1 Protector Foundation is also like a natural makeup. That's what I have on right now. So I'm just like, oh my goodness, I'm getting all the types of makeup that I really want. I love the natural finish, like the natural look now. I don't care for like full coverage makeup like I used to or a whole lot of makeup. I do like my Skin Skinfluencer um, Foundation Balm by She In or She Glam when it uh, comes to full coverage. If I do want that you know, real made up look or makeup look. And if I need to cover a lot, then I will use the She Glam Skin Fluencer uh, Foundation Balm. But what I want to just be natural, just like what I'm doing right now is just appointments and, you know, getting on the bus and all this stuff, going where I got to go and do what I got to do. And I'm just basically just here in town. I'm just going for real natural looks as far as foundation and stuff. And even my eyeshadows, y'all, I just put one eyeshadow on from the, um, what is it? The, uh, complex couture palette here. I love this shadow. I'm going to go through this shadow so quick. This is my favorite. It goes good with the gray, uh, platinum hair it looks amazing so this is my favorite color of this whole palette however this is amazing and you're gonna be surprised what else that i have coming but this right here is so cute i love this palette this company is amazing and i do have on the blush let's talk about the makeup I got this blush on right here. I still been using this lighter pink shade as an everyday pink blush, and I like it. Usually on an everyday basis, I don't wear blush. I only wear blush when I create a video or if I'm doing a fashion uh, video or whatever video I'm doing, that's usually when I put on blush. Usually I use my bronzer as blush, but y'all, I love this blush so much. I've been using it every single day. And that pink shade is just a natural light color that's beautiful for every day. This is an amazing brand. I've never heard of this brand, but y'all see what's up in a little while. But anyways, I like it a lot. And so y'all, we will be trying, or I will be trying this Mally Effortless Airbrush Perfect Skin Mousse uh, Foundation. I think it's amazing. I haven't put it on my skin. I When I put it on my arm, it seemed like it's going to match. If it doesn't, we're going to make it work. It's medium tan is what I got. Uh, that was the only one that I saw that was available. Um, I would have got a tan. But um, I think medium tan will work just as good, I think. Because when I put it on there, it was like a yellow tone, and it should blend in. Uh, but if it is a little bit lighter, that's okay, because I can make it work with a bronzer, okay? But anyways, you guys, this, I can't wait to try it. Like, it's in a bottle like this. And I got to be careful. This cannot be around heat. And I got to make sure that this does not be in direct sunlight or anything, because this is like that type of bottle that, you know, can't get real heated up. So, yeah, you guys, um, we will be trying this one in the next video and also the Ocalon uh, Neon Splash Eyeshadow Palette. We're going to be trying that one as well. All right, you guys, and we're going to see which one is the best, okay, between the Fantastic Colors and the Neon Splash. We're going to see which one's the best. Um, I do think that they're by the same company. I have created a video and I looked today and I have posted that video, but for some reason, I did that video yesterday. So y'all would see the outfit of the day for yesterday and I put it on public for everybody to watch. And then this morning it was turned off on private. Somebody's got access to my phone y'all. But anyways, um, I had showed like these two palettes here and how similar they look see y'all know the similarity all the glitter and stuff all over the place on the face and on this one neon splash as well as this one and that's one reason why i got the neon splash see here it's such a similar design that i thought that i would 
get this one but this one has the colors that i like the real bold vivid colors this one right here is just your regular average everyday colors there's a few pops of colors like this blue shade there's a few of them that's a little bold but most of them are neutral tones more like everyday eyeshadow colors versus this one that has the neon colors here see there's a difference okay this is more like for me this is for all of y'all that love the neutral natural makeup looks all the time but this is more like me i like to glam it up from time to time i can't go natural and neutral all the time i like to do some dramatic looks and bold looks and y'all know i do y'all don't see my makeup over here and on my fashion channels but we will be trying this one in the next video and yeah you guys so now it's time for the outfit of the day and i gotta hurry because i've got to finish doing my exercises i'm close to my goal but not quite close because i really didn't do a whole lot today as i did the previous day so i got a good bit to do and i like to stop at a certain time so i may not get to my goal today but anyways you guys at least i get some um exercise but let me stand up so y'all can take a look at this outfit i am in love with it now don't look at it go it don't match because it really does um the top that i wore is a top that y'all will see in a fashion uh video very soon as soon as i post it y'all will see it but let me set up and show y'all this look all right so i will give y'all the names of both of these pieces so as you can see the pants is really y'all i just love the size 20 and pants look at all this i could have went with a size one x in these pants like you got a lot of stretch look how look at that stretchy they even fall down but with a belt i can keep them up but i do like the blue and white uh color block trend and so i saw these and i thought these would be really cute with just a regular black top any color a top will go with this it don't have to be blue or white but if you want to be really matchy matchy you could like a red top will go with this a black top will go with this a beige top will go with this anything will go with this uh blue and white print i feel um because white will go with what everything just like black goes with everything so you gotta look at me having this black top with the white on this side it still matches and this is one of those uh one shoulder tops this goes with a skirt that i've already show on a fashion video on my Shuda Shemay channel and it comes with the skirt and I had the little chain to go with it but you can wear tops and the skirt you know separately if you want so today I decided to put this underneath the shirt which I'm not going to show y'all because you'll see it in a fashion video I'm not going to show that one okay let y'all see it in a video but this is so cute um it does come with a button and a zipper so it's not like that those type of clothes that look like it's a button and zipper and it's not but it is really truly a nice pair of pants um i really like the fact that these pants got pockets here and i'm gonna turn around let y'all take a look at the back this is what the back looks like so cute and unique i think that this looks amazing like this is too cute y'all i really like it and i love how loose the pants fit excuse my underwear they are nude but you know i could put a black belt on and this would look super duper cute but with the shirt that i had on everything went together it was loose and it was very comfortable and i felt amazing at my appointment because i was just comfortable and that's what it's all about for me these days it's comfortable after everything i've been through now i'm gonna show y'all my shoes i'm gonna pull this down some so maybe y'all can see my shoes here i got well i didn't i didn't wear those okay those i got on for exercise these are the shoes that i had on for today um my shoes that i got from walmart um yes they are brown and they match almost everything i do want to buy the other colors but they got to get the size in my size 
or the other colors so I could have all different colors. These just, they just kind of, uh, what is it? They, they are what firm fit like they fit your feet very well y'all and it's like sort of it's not cushioned though but it kind of feel like a what am i trying how am i trying to it's like a cushion fit shoe but it's not it's not cushioned you know how a cushion fit it like fits your feet very well well these shoes fit your feet very well but there's not they're not real soft like a cushion but they just fit and contour to contours to your feet like a feet contour shoe like it just contours um your whole feet is what i'm trying to say so these are very nice if y'all can see them and they're very i just got these for nine dollars y'all and i love them i've been wearing these non-stop and so that's what they look like, y'all. And I did wear them with this outfit. And it matched with the shirt, okay, that I put on top of this top here. So it's a top that I put on top of it that matched those sandals. So, yeah, you guys. So this is how everything's looking. However, um, I mean, this is a different look. I know some of y'all probably saying this is such a different look. This is not what we're used to seeing, y'all you wear or whatnot but you know what okay y'all done seen the outfit so this is what i wore this is the outfit of the day so you gotta look at it like this um i'm gonna get back i've got some pieces that is more like what i've been showing y'all more of my style or more of what i like um and i'm gonna get those things y'all i am i'm gonna get those things and all that um and i'm gonna show y'all because i got some pieces over here that's more like what i like the most what i started out showing y'all i have over here i have a few pieces back over there that's hanging up that i haven't showed y'all but you know right now i have so many appointments and i'm about to have a few more Yes, I am, y'all. Let's talk, okay? Um, I'm just getting clothes. It's going to be comfortable for me to wear to appointments. I'm getting my uh, health on track, and I want to do it right now, okay? I don't want to just, like, put it off and put it off. And I never have. Like, whenever I got sick, I went to the doctor, you know? But so much had been done to me, the abuse and all this stuff. I'm getting myself back on track and I'm taking care of myself where I know that some things is just not normal, okay? And so I'm just trying to take care of myself, do what I need to do to get myself back on track after everything i've been through but i'm victorious okay i got the victory but i've been hurt okay i've been hurt and injured okay so um what i'm thinking about doing now is i want to do i'm just to do physical therapy I think that would be good for me because I've been going to the chiropractor. That's a place that I'll go to whenever I feel like I need to go to because this doctor is amazing. He adjusted my back and I just feel so good. Like a lot of stress comes off, y'all. If you ever have some issues or something like that, go talk, you know, pertaining to what a chiropractor can help with. I highly recommend it. Every time I go, I get a stress relief. Like every time when I come out, it's like, whew, I don't know. I just feel so much better. Like, well, like stress just goes away. Like every time it just pops, pop, pop, you know, it's like, oh, oh, I've been needing that for a long time, you know. So I've been going to a chiropractor, which I told y'all about that. And so now what I think, now that I don't hurt in my back anymore, but I will go to the chiropractor whenever I feel like my back may be feeling, you know, whatever way or whatnot. I just go whenever I feel like I need to go. And when I feel like I'm doing better, then I stop. Um, but 
what I feel like I need now is physical therapy because my back feels so much better. But one thing that's hard for me is when I bend over to try to put on my pants or when I bend over to try to pick up something, like it's not easy. It's like I can't bend over as much as I should if I have to pick up something. Um, that's what I've been noticing for a while. Even though I've been going to the chiropractor, I still feel like maybe I need to go to a physical therapist because one time before I had gotten that situation where I couldn't bend over. Like um, I had an accident at the time. I fell uh, trying to put up something. I don't know what I was thinking. I was in a chair and I fell. Um, and I had to go to the, uh, the, not the chiropractor, but the physical therapist or physical therapy. I had to go get physical therapy. And when I did, I was able to bend over again after going to physical therapy. So I feel like physical therapy is going to help me with that issue. But as far as my back being aligned, I know where to go for that. Okay. So I go to my chiropractor, but I do need to get, um, some physical therapy for me whenever I need to bend over and like brushing my teeth. You know how you have to lean over and brush your teeth. Like I can't, I have to hold on to the wall and brush my teeth because I get pressure in my back in my lower back where I feel like I can't bend, but so far and that's it. I should be able to bend over as far as I need to, to brush my teeth or anything. Or to pick up something on the floor or whatever I'm doing. I should be able to bend over. Okay. So I'm going to go to physical therapy. Okay. And I'm going to, um, uh, what else? Oh, yeah. I've got some more appointments. Of course, every week I'm going to have pelvic exercises, which I like. It's, it's working. And that's all that matters is that it's working and I really needed that. Y'all, it's a lot been done. I told y'all, it's a lot of abuse done happened to me. I told y'all. Um, and y'all probably said, oh my God, all these doctor's appointments. Yes, yes. This girl is strong, but I'm not going to sit here and pretend like everything is wonderful in my life. There's a lot that has happened to me in this neighborhood, in this apartment. And... I'm not going to sit here and play like everything's all good. No, it's not. I'm going to doctor's appointments and things like that, trying to get myself back to where I was. I know a lot of people say you can't look back. I'm going forward. But what happened to me happened in this apartment starting in 2018. Uh, some of the things, some of the doctors that I'm going to is because of things happening here. Okay, not where I was before, okay, in the past. So I've got to go to these doctor's appointments and these doctors to try to correct what was what had been done to me that was so y'all you should see you should see how some of these people you should see how they look. A lot of people know it was wrong. A lot of people know it was wrong. They know that they did wrong. And you know what? When court time come, don't ask me for forgiveness. You're going to have to go to God for that. Like, I forgive, but you'll be behind bars when I do. You'll be behind bars. But anyways, y'all, um, yeah, uh, just going on. I have a few more appointments. I got to have my physical. Um, I got, oh yeah, I got to go back to the endocrinologist. I still haven't seen the specialist. Like they so booked up. They told me that they so booked up. It's been months now and I haven't even seen the specialist to, to get treatment for my swollen thyroid. So it's almost time for me to go back to the endocrinologist. Yes. That might be why they schedule, schedule me within... I think it's only been three months now, going on three months, because they probably knew that he was booked up with a lot of referrals. 
So I have to go back and see the endocrinologist about my thyroid here, my swollen thyroid. I am still taking the thyroid medicine and all that good stuff. So I'm just saying that I'm still seeing doctors, but I feel like next month is going to be a good month for me to upload videos and all that good stuff because I don't have a whole lot of appointments. But when I go to these doctors, I never know what they're going to tell me as far as you know, when they come back and so. So I'm just saying, y'all, I am going to doctors to take care of myself and try to fix what was done to me. And that's all I can do. Okay. So yeah, y'all. So I'm trying my best to get back on with my fashion and I am uh, going to do that. And y'all stay tuned on my fashion channel because there's going to be some amazing videos that's going to be coming up here soon just saying to all of y'all another thing i want to mention is well that's it with the health thing as far as a health update i always give y'all a health update whenever i come over here and do these chat videos and these outfits of the day videos i wish i was outside because it's always better outside i feel like i got more like more privacy and I love being out there in the nature and all that but it's just too hot to be out there y'all I'd rather chat he inside right now especially as hot as it is outside um but yeah y'all let me tell you something this is nothing but the devil if anybody know it's the devil you know how you people know when you is done when you done, like you have completely let things go. People know it. Like when you say, when you get to a point where you're not hollering and screaming no more, you're not yelling, people know then that you're over it. You know, people know, like everybody around you, the people, even when you go out in these places and people do stuff and you keep going and you still smiling and you still being polite to people, they know then that you is over all the bullshit. OK, so let me tell you something. I've been in a happy mood because I've been thanking the Lord that I am breathing and living every day. Every day is a miracle for me. If you ever been abused, you know what I'm talking about. Every day is a precious to see the sunlight every day and get up and be able to get around. It's a precious day. OK, so every day I just thank the Lord that I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And that. I am on my uh, journey, my healthcare journey, and I'm getting there. I'm getting to see doctors, specialists, and try to get back on track so I can be the best person that I can be. Because when I got abused here, it took a lot. It took a lot from me. It almost took the person that I am, the sweet person that I am. I got so angry and frustrated and because I had never been abused. So I was like, what the hell? Not to that extent. I've been abused, verbally abused and stuff like that. And a little, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about other things. That'd be a, another time, another day. But the way I was abused here, it was completely different and it was so wrong. So I'm a very nice, quiet person. I always have been. People that know me know that I'm telling the truth because even some of my friends used to have to make me talk. I would not talk. That's how nice and polite I was. I wouldn't say nothing because I was scared I would upset somebody or I was scared that sometimes I would just completely be scared to talk, okay? And that was wrong. I shouldn't have been scared to talk, but that was just who I was at the time. And but one thing I was polite. If I could help somebody, I help people upon people upon people and everything. I would do stuff. I would put other people before me, okay? All the time. And now I'm at the point where I'm I'm having to put myself first because I got to take care of me. And so it feels weird because I'm not used to it because I'm so used to putting other people before myself. And now it's about me taking charge of things as far as health, health things. I'm having to put myself first and take care of myself health wise. I've got to think about Sheila and, you know, 
instead of always thinking about other people. You know, I think about other people, but I got to take care of myself too. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so people know I'm in a zone where, I'm not going to say a zone because that's the wrong word. People know I'm at the point right now in my life that I don't care what they do in front of me. I don't care how they act. I don't care how what kind of face they give me. Whatever they know, I don't care. I'm happy that I'm alive. I'm happy I'm, uh, I'm on the healthcare journey. I am happy that I'm getting somewhere to, you know, getting myself back to what I was before moving into this apartment. I do have a disability, but I didn't have all these extra things that happened to me. A lot of these doctors that I'm going to, I just started going to them. Never, ever had to go to some of these specialists doctors that I'm going to right now. Am I thankful for them? Yes. But... I can tell you what caused it too. Okay. But anyways, um, so some somebody gonna try to test me today in the doctor's office. Not the not the staff or nothing. I'm talking about by phone. Somebody try to test me by phone. Here I am in a good mood, been in a good mood. The forget I done throw all the trash in the in the garbage bin. Okay, that means all the, the the attitudes and all the funny acting and shit, I done throw it in the trash can. It's like no matter what they do, I don't even see it no more. You know, when you get to the point where you're like, you know what, I'm not for hate. I'm not for all this stuff and I'm not going to be yelling and hollering and screaming and stuff like that for people. I got to think about myself and my health and all this stuff. I don't got time for all this nonsense stuff. So I got to that place and everybody know it. They can do shit right in my face and they see me. I get on here and start laughing and smiling and doing my fashion video and strutting and everything. And they know it, it doesn't bother me. So today they're going to try to test me with something. And they put it on my, somebody put it on my phone. Okay. And what made it so funny is that yesterday there was an incident that I was in here, you know, like walking like I do. And so they kind of threw it back off of that, off of something that was occurring yesterday. And I was like, who put this on my feed? Did it affect me in the doctor's office? No, I went right into the room. It didn't affect me. I went in the room and the doctor came in and he's like, hey. I was like, hey. I said, I'm starting to feel like myself, doctor. He's like, that's good. And all that. And I said, yeah, I'm feeling, you know, I'm starting to feel like myself and all that. And, um, you know, and I am. I'm starting to get up in the morning. Even I'm starting, I'm, I'm back to myself. I'm getting back to myself. And so, and I was just, um, you know, sitting in there and then I looked at that and I said, I've got to speak up about this situation because this was on my feed and I didn't appreciate it. I didn't appreciate the way it came across because this is something that, um, you know, they tried to hurt me with. So when I got home, I didn't say nothing. I waited on everybody to get inside the house and a few more people to get home because I noticed some people was out. I was like, I want because they, they can they can hear inside the house. They they got cameras in this apartment so they can see me. So I know some of y'all probably said, girl, what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I got the proof of it. Uh-huh. Yes. And so um I waited because I wanted everybody to hear what I had to say about what somebody did right here in this neighborhood. So I say, you know what? I'm going to let them get a piece of me today just because I had to express something very important for them to know that, and this is what I basically said. I can't tell y'all everything that I said, but it's been recorded. Trust me, it's been recorded. And I hope, and I hope they listen to every single thing that I said. Um, I basically had to let people know that when it pertains to anything, when it goes, goes to um, people that I might have talked to, like, or dated, or, you know, uh, back in the day, I didn't leave those people for no reason. I didn't leave those few people that I talked to 
for no reason. There's only one person that we split, and that was my um, daughter's father. And we split because I just could not leave this state. My mom and dad was sick. I couldn't. I wanted to be by their side. I stayed, okay? That, I'm not going to put this in that category. That doesn't even belong in that category. That that that's That's a whole different thing. But I'm talking about the other few people that I talked to. So that's what the... The video video was basically about how basically what they threw up in my face is like how uh, a person leaves another person for another person. What well, that happens all the time, just like with me. Um, after me and my daughter's father broke up, like I went on a few dates. That's not cheating. We broke up, right? So you know that wasn't cheating. Okay, so I was like, what the hell? Like, why? And then they're going to have an image of a person that reminds you, not exactly. I'm going to say this person's style is completely different. But they, I knew where they were coming at. They was trying to get directly close to me to try to piss me off. Okay, and, they, and this whoever did this, they love to see me pissed off. You know, they love to piss me off and I don't get pissed off no more. So that's why they threw it up. So you know what I did? I waited till I sat here and I fed the the babies in there in the living room. Um one of the babies was really hungry. When I got back I had to feed the babies and all that and um and so I I said okay all right so now everybody start noticing people start pulling in because normally they pull in every time this certain person goes out and come back. They come back with this person. So I was waiting on. So as soon as it, everybody got in, I'm saying everybody, so I won't be fussed out after this video. Everybody came in. Some went down there around the apartment with the cars and all that. I sat right here and I saw it. So I said, okay, it's a perfect time to say this for the last time. And I mean, it's the last time. And I got a little loud, but I didn't get upset because I've been, y'all, I've been in here walking and singing and doing my exercise. I done forgot it, but I want to explain. Y'all know how I love to chit chat over here tell y'all what's going on in my life because I don't mind sharing it because if it can help somebody else I'm glad to do this because I know what happened to me with my eye if it hadn't been some of these medical videos on YouTube I wouldn't know what I would have done because I did not understand what had happened to me what was in my eye or nothing if it wasn't for me looking at YouTube videos I would have been lost I would have been lost but however I knew what 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 could have been done? I told them. I said, cut the, just get a cut and drain it. And nobody would do that. But anyway, y'all, I don't want to get to that. But let me get on to it. So when they got, everybody got in, I let everybody know. I said, listen, when it comes down to people that I might have talked to, or whatnot, but I'm not with those people and I'm not talking to them. I care less about who that person is talking to right now because I'm not talking to the person no more or I'm not dating the person no more. You know, it's like I've moved on. You know, that was the past. I don't care who the person is talking to at the current time. I don't care if it's somebody relative of mine. I don't care if it's somebody that know me for so many years or a friend or whatever. Okay. I'm at that point. I don't care. Okay. I didn't want you. That's the way I look at it. I didn't want you. And if somebody else wanted you that might be friends with me or relative of mine, then good. Hey, that's okay with me. I didn't want you. So that doesn't bother me. Okay. I don't care. But I do care about this. I do think when you are friends with somebody, like if I had a friend and if her 
bo boyfriend or ex-boyfriend wanted to start talking to me, I would personally go to my friend and say, hey, you know, so-and-so, so-and-so, you know, we wanted to. Some people don't feel like that because they feel like when people break up, you break up. And you really don't have to do that. But if it's a friend of mine that I care about, somebody that I care about, somebody that I love, I wouldn't just do that if I love a person, if I care about somebody. That's just me. But you know what? You know what I would have said? I would have said, I don't care. Because listen, if, if somebody come to me and say, hey, I'm I'm going with your ex or whatnot, or I'm I'm talking to someone you talked to or whatnot, you know, I'd be like, well, go on, girl. You know what? I didn't want them, you know. Go ahead. I, I mean, I ain't got to talk to him. You know, I talk to you, but I ain't got to talk to him if I don't want to. And if I want to talk to him, I'll talk to him. But if I don't want to, I don't have to. But if he makes you happy, then go on with him. You know, I didn't want him. So they was going to try to bring this shit, like try to plot something up to piss me off, to get me to say all kinds of stuff, y'all. They've been doing this for months after months after months. It's just a fucking game. And I'm just like, when in the fuck are y'all going to ever get tired? Because you know what? They should know right now I'm fo focused on justice. Y'all heard that word come out of my mouth. I like to say I'm not funny. <laughs> I like to say F and care. Don't care, okay? Um, but, you know, I'm focused on justice. I'm not interested. I don't care about who's going with who unless it's somebody that I really care about. And, you know, um, as far as, you know, even people that I care about, you know, who they decide to date and all that stuff, that's their business. Who they decide to be with, that's their business. I don't care if it's somebody that I talk to or have talked to before as, as far as a relationship or whatnot. I really don't care. You know, I'm just at, I'm at that point where stuff don't bother me like that. I've got too much. Look at this. I got too much to look at and also too much that I can do and I can go out there and get me somebody if I want to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, if I want somebody, I can get somebody. It's not just that the few people that I talk to that's in this world. There's other lovers in this whole wide world. There's plenty of other lovers or other men on the face of this earth that I could talk to. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be like going crazy over somebody telling me, oh, so-and-so talking to somebody you used to talk to or whatnot. So what? I don't care. I mean, whatever make people happy, that's them. But me, myself, like my history of dating, I have never dated or talked to anybody that's close to me, okay? Like relatives and friends, I've never went with their exes. That's just my rule. I just won't do that to my friends and my relatives. I will never date none of their their lovers or boyfriends or ex ex boyfriend or whatever. That's just the rule I had put in my head from high school. Like y'all know how high school is. Y'all know how it goes. This guy can go with that girl, that one, that one, that. Y'all know how it goes. And you know what? I didn't do it in high school, and I won't do it now. That's just me. I just don't think that that is good in my opinion. Okay, this is all my opinions. I won't date my friends or relatives' ex men. I won't do that. However, some people, like I said, it don't bother me even if somebody do talk to some of my exes or whatever, and I don't have a whole lot of exes, okay? But anyways, if some of the people that I talk to, or have talked to, if somebody want to talk to them, go right ahead. I'm telling all of y'all that watch this, go right ahead. I didn't leave them for no reason. Like, y'all can talk to them. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going on forward, okay? I'm not looking backwards at, you know, the 
the previous people that I've talked to. I'm not looking at that. I'm moving forward, okay? And that's it. That's just how I feel, okay? Everybody has their own opinions on that, but somebody tried to strike up an argument with me, wanted me to start yelling and screaming and hollering. I got loud, but I didn't holler and scream. I didn't scream, ah! But I got, I, I, I said what I had to say for the last time. I told him for the last time, I'm going to tell y'all right now, don't throw up who's talking to whoever. I do not care. Okay? I, what I care about right now, because they'll watch this video. What I care about right now is my health and my well-being. It's getting my health back. Getting my getting treatment that I need so that I can feel better and be a better person. That's what I'm focusing on. I'm really not even, even though I buy date night clothes, because I know it'll come a point where I will be dating. But right now, I feel like I don't even need to be doing that because I am trying to get my health in a good state, in a sense. I'm trying to get it in a good position because I've been abused so bad here. So I'm not thinking about a man. So when you throw up this stuff, I'm just saying that I don't, I ain't even thinking about that. Like when that happens, it'll probably happen unplanned in a sense. Whenever I do get to date somebody, it'll probably be just one of those kind of like odd instances where I just meet somebody and we start talking and they say, you know, I'm dating them. Like, that's what I feel like what's going to happen because I'm not out here trying to find someone, okay? I'm not. I'm just going out to doctors, getting care, and coming home. And then when I do go out, I go get groceries, pay for bills, pick up a few personal items or whatever, and I come right back home. That's what I'm focusing on. I'm not focusing on like trying to find a man and all that. Ain't nothing wrong with that now. I'm saying right now, ain't nothing wrong with that. But I just thought I would just let all of y'all know that watch my videos that do live in this area. Y'all can have all the men in, in this area that you want. Okay. And anywhere else, because I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on my health and my well being and thanking the Lord every day that he gave me another chance to live. Okay. That's what I am focusing on. I don't care. It ain't none of my business about who's going with who and what they're doing and how it was done and how did they meet and how it what came out to be. I'm not, it's not none of my business. So I'm saying, it ain't none of my business. So why would I react off of something like that when it's really not none of my business? And plus, if it includes somebody that I talk to, it, so what? I'm not with them. So I'm saying, I ain't with them. So that man is entitled to go with whoever he want to. If he feel like, for instance, if a man feels like, uh, if if one of the persons that I talk to, if they feel like they want to talk to a relative of mine or a friend of mine, if he feel all right with it, that's him. And if she feels okay with it, then that's her. That's between them two. It ain't got nothing to do with me because I'm not with him. So I'm saying I'm not with him. So what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Uh. Excuse me. I had a burp off of that, like, for real. Uh, what did that got to do with me? <laughs> happiness is happiness. Whichever way you feel like you can, if you feel happy with somebody like that and you go with somebody that you close to or go with somebody that somebody that been with and, and you feel, um, you feel happy and everything's good for you, then, You know, 
I tell y'all all the time, much love, peace, kindness, joy, happiness to everybody. That's the way I feel. That's how my spirit is. I want it too. I want happiness, joy, peace, um, love, kindness, all that good stuff. So I don't say that for no reason. Okay. But, you know, I'm just saying for me, in my opinion, I was just making a point today, y'all. I told y'all everything. I didn't tell you everything, but that's basically, that's like a summary of what happened. Somebody tried to break my spirit today because I've been in good spirit. Like my spirit, my joy is coming back. I'm getting Sheila, all of me back. I feel like I lost some of myself. And when you've been abused, you do feel that way. Most people, almost everybody, I've heard their testimonies or whatnot. That's how they feel. They feel like they have lost a part of them. And you have to regain it because you've been hurt so bad um, that, you know, you get angry. And you may not have been an angry person. Like with me, I've never been an angry person. Anyways, y'all, yeah, they're going to try to break my spirit today. And I was like, what the hell? Why you trying to break my spirit for? You know what I'm saying? Or trying to hurt my feelings. That's what I'm saying when I say break my spirit. Trying to break my my feelings or something. Thought I was going to bawl and cry or whatnot in the doctor's. I was like, please, don't even try. I have moved on, y'all. Yes, I have. Justice is what's on my mind. If you really want to know what's on my mind, it's not about who's going with who and who, how does somebody got together and how they fell in love and how their engagement is and all this stuff. I don't care about that. My mind is not on that. My mind is on justice, getting justice for myself. If you're happy, be happy. Okay? Be happy. I'm going to be happy when I get justice. That's when I'm going to be happy. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to be happy when I get justice. Anybody that's been abused will tell you that. Anybody with abuse will tell you that. Okay? So, ain't nobody got time for that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for it, and that's it. I ain't got time for it. And so... I had to let everybody know for the last time. If they do it again, I'm just going to start reporting it. I'm going to report every fucking thing I can. I'm just going to start reporting every single thing, even stuff that people are putting on my phones. I'm telling y'all right now, so all of y'all that's doing that around here and around this neighborhood, you start putting stuff on my feed that's not right, I'm going to start, I'm going to re report every fucking bit of it everything because i just personally don't care i wish y'all happiness or whatever when it pertains to relationships and stuff like that but right now sheila is not worried about who's dating who and who's going with who and who's you know how they got together and, and, and somebody from my past and and all that from way back years ago and who's he dating and all stuff. i left the person for a reason Okay, I'm not, I'm not thinking about that person. Okay, I am thinking about my health. My health right now is priority. Number one, okay? All right, so hopefully y'all get it. Y'all should have got it by now. As many times as I go to the doctors every week, you should know by now that I'm focusing on my health. I'm not, focus, I'm not focusing on nonsense and stupidity and people playing games. This is not a game for me. My health is not a game. Okay? My health, everybody's health is not a game. You should be thinking about everything that's going on in the world. How everything is just way things is. I mean, I don't see how you can be playing games and try to play mind games with people. I don't have the time for that. Okay? I don't know who does have the time to play mind games. And we're going through all this stuff on the face of this earth. And you got time to play mind games and everything that's on the news. And you got time to play mind games. I don't have time for that. 
I'm trying to be serious and I'm trying, I, I am serious. I ain't saying I'm trying, I'm serious. Okay. I'm taking everything serious. What I see on the news and everything, I'm taking it seriously. And also everything that's going on in this world, I'm taking seriously. And also I'm taking my health seriously. Everything. I don't got time for all that stuff. If you want, if you think everything is just a, a laughing game all day long, then laugh. But don't throw it up in my face because I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff that I can laugh at right now. There's a lot of terrible stuff going on. I can't sit back and <laughs> I can't. You know what I'm saying? Because everything ain't that good right now. No. Everything ain't that good right now. A lot of people is sick. A lot of people going through a lot of stuff. You see it on the news all the time. I ain't got time to be sitting back. Ah, ah, I ain't got time for that. You know, I, I just don't. I, I, I don't. I, I mean, I know, y'all, you got to loosen up and relax. I get it. You know, something you can't. You can't be too serious that you can't just have a relaxed day and just watch you a good old movie and just have a good old time. I get that. But I'm just talking about trying to start stuff with people and think it's funny. And especially a person like me, you see that I'm going out here, going to doctors, trying to get my help on board. And then you try to hurt my feelings and shit. I ain't got time for that. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. I'm not talking about just enjoying yourself, like watching a good movie. Yeah, relax. Shit. Yeah. You have your husband or wife or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, and you're enjoying having a good evening or whatever. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm talking about people that love to do stupid stuff to somebody and just do it and try to start something, and then they sit back and laugh at it and think it's funny. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. I don't have time for that. It's too many serious things that you could be concentrating on. Excuse me. It's more serious things that you can think about than to be trying to play manipulative mind games with people. Trying to uh, control somebody's mind. That's trying to control people's mind right there. That's what you call trying to play with your mind. Mind games. And I ain't got time for it. Don't play with it. Because I'm smarter than that. I always have been. And I'm not going to uh, fuss and yell and holler and scream over mind games. Because it ain't no time for that. Okay? And for the last time, I'm saying this because I know they watch my videos, y'all. Okay? I know these people watch my videos. For the last time, on video. Whoever is going with whoever is none of my business. If I if that person's not in my life, then it's not none of my business. Okay? And then if it if the person is with someone that I do know, so what? I I'm not with that person. So what? That's y'all decision to be together. Ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what can I say? Ain't got nothing to do with me. Because I'm not involved. No. And, you know, like I said, I can talk, I can still talk to whoever I want to talk to. And I ain't got to talk to that person that I talked to before. That's with somebody that I know. I got to talk to them. And if I want to talk to them, I will. You know, it's just up to me what I want to do. If I want to talk to them, I talk to them. If I don't, then I won't. But, you know, like I said, I believe that, you know, I would never, I would never talk to somebody um, that is my friend, like my friend's exes or my relative exes, I would never talk to their exes. I just won't do that. That's just not me. I don't do that. I rather find me somebody of my own. Uh, like somebody that's, you know, I find my own person instead of. That's just what I like, okay? I don't do all of that, you know, dip dabbing and all that stuff. That's what 
that that was the saying back in the day. You call it dip dabbing. I don't do all that dip dabbing stuff. Is what I'm saying. I don't believe in all of that. That's what my mom used to say. Dip dabbing. I dip dabbing. I don't do all that dip dabbing. A lot of people used to call it dip dabbing. Um, it's a, probably a southern thing, but I can't help it. I, I live in the state of Alabama, and that's just the way we call it. Um, I don't believe in all that dip dabbing. That means somebody going with somebody, and then they uh, sometimes they go back and forth with people. Like that might be two relatives, and there's one guy that's going with both of them, you know, go with this one for a little while, then go back to the other one, and then go back to that other one, then go back to that one. Y'all know what I'm talking about, dip dabbing. Then, or there might be two friends, and this guy is going th going with both of them, you know, go with this one for a little while, then he go with that one for a little while, then he go back to that one, then he go back to this one, and it just causing a, 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 a big old commotion between two friends or relatives and all that stuff. I ain't got time for that stuff. Okay, I'll get somebody of my own before I go through all of that stress right there. Okay, I will find somebody that ain't nobody being with. Okay, that's close to me. <laughs> I'll get with somebody else to avoid all that stress. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Okay, so yeah, maybe they get it, y'all. Maybe they'll get it with this video. But anyways, if any of y'all don't have no problem with that, everybody has their own opinions and their own way of whatever they feel like is right. Y'all have y'all own thing. I'm not trying to tell nobody what to do. I'm not here. I'm not the judge. I'm not a judge, okay? I'm not here to judge nobody. I'm just reacting to what was sent on my phone, and I'm telling these people what I think about it. It has nothing to do with what y'all may want to do or what y'all like or whatever i'm talking about to all my lovely sub subscribers my viewers this is not me judging y'all this is not me talking to y'all this is talking to the people that try to screw up my day today okay try to see if they can touch me because they see that everything bounce off you know every time they try to do something they see that it bounce off I don't care. And they saw today, it really, it bounced right back off. I just had to tell them one more last fucking time. I had to tell them one last fucking time to leave me the fuck alone. Okay? That's what I had to do. Excuse my language, but, you know, sometimes you have to tell people. Because people just, you know, and even though I said that, they'll still try to test me. But they see that that stuff does not bother me. And that's why they did what they did. And I'm just saying... Any, I'm saying all the women in this area, hello, everybody in this whole area. If there's any guys that I've talked to back in the day, if y'all are interested in them, y'all can talk to them. Okay? I do not care. <laughs> You don't have to tell me how you met and what you did and what happened. No explanations here. Just go to God with it if you want to explain anything. You don't got to explain anything to me, okay? Because I'm not in that phase and don't care, all right? I care about my health. All right, so right now I'm not thinking about that. I'm not thinking about that. So don't try because I will report it if it keeps going on. I will report it. Okay. All right, y'all. All my lovely subscribers outside. <laughs> I know y'all laughing. I know some of my subscribers that love for me to talk because they say I always put it down straight without without putting any seasoning on it or anything. I put it straight out. Yes, I do. I get that from my mom. My mom and my dad would just put it out straight. Just tell you right straight forward without any seasoning on it, without any kind of uh, dip or uh, sauce or anything. They would just put it out straight. They would say it straight to you how things was, and that's the way I am. I got it from my mom and my daddy. 
Okay, I just put it out there straight without seasoning and anything. I just say it straight. And a lot of y'all that told me y'all love the way I do things like that. And that's just me. That's just how I am. I just tell you straightforward how it is. And that's it. That's it. I just put it out there straightforward. And honestly, most most people, I, I say most people in most of areas like where I live in, we do that. Just put it out there straight. We don't try to, you know, uh, candy coat it or sweeten it up or try to, um, you know, season it. We just kind of, we just say our words and we say it straight the way it is, just the way it is. We say how we think of something straightforward and that's it. Let it and then let it go. That's how we do here, okay? So, it's gone. Like, it's over. It was over when I saw it in the doctor's office. I was like, what the hell? I went right on into the doctor's office smiling and everything. The nurse and everything smiling. Told him I felt so, I'm starting to feel so much better. Emotionally, I'm starting to feel like myself again. Okay, so that should tell some of y'all that be doing this stuff that that stuff don't even bother me no more. I ain't, I ain't thinking about it. Okay, I ain't thinking about it. And plus, my health is important. All right, y'all. I keep on repeating myself. When, when I start to repeat myself, I know then Sheila. Okay, you done said what you need to say. That's it. Okay, y'all. So, anyways, look forward to a makeup video. All of my subscribers and viewers over here. Um. Get ready for a makeup look once again with the Mali Effortless Airbrush. Um, Mali Effortless Airbrush Perfect Skin Mousse Foundation. I can't wait to try this. See how good this feels on my skin. And also the Ocalon Neon Splash Palette. But I'm going to tell y'all right now, there is some more products that's coming tomorrow. So... We'll see. I don't want to give it away on what's coming tomorrow, but there might be a switch. There might be something different here for the makeup video. Just be prepared because I'm just telling y'all, you never know what I might be using. But so far, I told you two products that will be new products that I will be using. And I feel like, you know, I do want to create a makeup video also using these new shades by the She Glam, um, the Skin Influencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm. I haven't tried these yet to see if they how they look. I know that the other two shades, y'all know, that didn't match. I have to use both of those shades. To, I had to use an extra shade, just something that I have in my collection to make that foundation bomb work because it was just a little bit light for right now but in the when it gets cool that shade would match but these right now will match me right now as i am tan very tan and so i've got um the three shades here and so i really want to try these shades on me as well so there's plenty of makeup videos y'all coming uh on this channel because this is where i like to show my makeup products so um, some of the people that's on my fashion channel that might see my makeup and might want to know what makeup I have on, I tell them to come over here on this channel if they really want to know what kind of makeup I'm wearing. Uh, say that they see a video and they go, oh, I like her makeup. I wonder what she's wearing as far as her makeup and all that. Well, you get to see it over here. So if you're coming from my fashion video or you watch my fashion video and you see my makeup and you want to know what type of makeup I'm using or, or what makeup I've purchased and what I've currently been wearing, then you are right here at the right channel. This is the channel where I show my makeup because I don't do makeup videos anymore. I do fashion videos on my Sheila Shemay channel. But over here, I do love to share what kind of makeup I do wear. And I let y'all take a look at it. I create makeup looks over here so y'all can see that this is the makeup that I've been using or this is what I like or whether it's just a new product and I like to share with y'all. So this is right where y'all need to stay tuned or better yet, subscribe if you want to see like what type of makeup I wear when I do my fashion videos like what makeup products I use because what I show you over here is truly indeed the makeup I use because y'all know I use makeup that's on a budget okay 
Yes, I do. And uh, so, yeah, y'all, like, this is makeup, okay? So, just saying, though, you know, I do love to share the makeup products because I know it's a lot of y'all out there that's just like me that like makeup, but some of us, we just... We're on a budget and we can't just buy the most expensive makeup or what they consider the best makeup. And that's not always true. Uh, this uh, Maybelline makeup is good. Um, L'Oreal is a good makeup brand. Just your average uh, drugstore makeup can be wonderful. Um, it just depends on the person. Some people love more of a high brand uh, stuff, and there's nothing wrong with that if you can afford it. But if you're on a budget like me, then, of course, you, you'll you love to know some of these inexpensive palettes that I buy that I actually use. I use this makeup when I create my fashion videos. I don't change up. Like, I whatever I show y'all here, this is what I use, okay? So, yeah. Y'all at the right channel when it comes down to if you're curious about the makeup products that I do use on my face. You're right here at the right place. However, fashion videos is still on board, y'all. I just got to get it together. I told y'all last month and this month, I've just been trying to put it together how I'm going to create these videos, how I'm going to make them work, when to upload the video and post the video i'm just getting it together and while i'm getting it together according to my schedule appointments i'm i'm also creating a fashion video so i have some videos ready so then i can start to begin the schedule and then i'll start getting with the schedule and be able to create a fashion video so yeah you guys that is the video for today i hope y'all enjoy this video Many hugs and kisses and all those sweet things. And I will see y'all tomorrow in the makeup video. So y'all take care of yourself. And remember, don't let people get you all riled up. You just let that stuff bounce off. Just like look at it and go. <laughs> all right. But sometimes you have to say something, though. I had to say something today. It's been a long time since I said anything. But I had to say something because it, it got really deep. It got deeper than what I said. But I couldn't say everything. But y'all know like for real for real for real like don't let people just like tear you up keep going just like that somebody just pulled up right here in front of my window trying to distract me you know what i'm doing i'm still talking to y'all you know what i'm saying look at me if you want to look at me look at me hi <laughs> you want me to model i model you know that's <laughs> <laughs> see what i'm saying don't let people get to you and you know sometimes you do have to tell people like you have to tell them sometimes you have to tell them a lot a lot of times you know like many times you know i've told these people a lot of times how i feel about this situation and they just keep on wanting to throw it up in my face all the time you know just haters and stuff like that but you know what you got to let them know you, if you really don't give a, you know what, you have to tell them that you really don't give a, you know what. And that's exactly what I did today. I let them know that I'm not focusing on stuff like that. When I look at the news and look at what's going on, it, it I almost cry. Like, and sometimes I do. It's so sad what's going on in this world. And so, um, I ain't got time for stuff like this. Um, especially when it comes down to relationships and uh, stuff like that. I mean, everybody can find somebody to love, right? <laughs> yeah, everybody can find somebody to love. It ain't just one man on this earth to, you know, that you can only love, you know what I'm saying? It's, many, it's too many men and women on this earth that, you know, you don't have to just, you know, you can go on and find your own thing, you know, your own man, you know. You ain't got to be stuck like um, arguing and fussing over one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyways, y'all, I will see y'all in my next video. And uh, yeah, y'all. Um, yeah.
I might have to take out some of the stuff. If y'all noticed some of the stuff taken out of this video, I figured I better not. I just happen to think that's a southern thing that we say. So I might have to take that off. Um, it's a saying. I know y'all probably ain't, ain't going to know what I'm talking about. But it's a saying in down here in the south. I forgot over here on the internet. Can't do that. <laughs> I forgot about a few things. So if y'all don't understand some spaces that skipped out, I had to take it out, okay? Because I happen to think that, you know, people don't talk like that no more because, you know. Well, we still talk like this, but not on uploading a video because that that could be offensive. And I just happen to think about that. But anyways, you guys, yeah. There is plenty of men and women that you can find to love, okay? You ain't got to worry about people throwing up people from your past. Like the few men that I talked to back in the day, I'm not thinking about them. I'm thinking about my health and my well-being. So, yeah, you guys, I'll come back with the another makeup video and yeah y'all i will see y'all in my next one and look forward because there might be some new products i know i've said this over and over but don't forget to like comment subscribe and if if you are a subscriber please don't forget to turn on your notification bell and also you guys um that was something i was gonna say and i forgot Oh, yeah, I was just look forward to like, there's some more pieces that I'm going to show over here, like outfits. Whenever I go to the doctor, that's basically when y'all see outfits of the days, because I don't mind showing those things because some of my stuff is more, it's more fashionable and I would rather upload it to my Sheila Shemay channel. But then there's some stuff that's more casual, like that I like to show y'all over here so y'all got to so you get to see what i wear really on a regular day and then on my fashion channel that's stuff that you will see like date night or uh get together with friends or you know just whatever a festival or something like that that's the type of stuff that i like to show and plus my lingerie on my sheila shamay channel that's the stuff I like to show over there. But over here, I like to show you, like, this is what I do wear, okay? This is what I would wear to go to the store here in this particular area. Everybody don't dress up here. Like, we, we're, in this area, there's more people that just dress plain, like, you know? I mean, there's some people that do dress up, but it's not a whole lot of people. And so... This stuff that I show you over here is basically stuff that I really do wear, like to stores and, um, you know, and just getting out, doing what I got to do. So, if you want to see those type of looks, then you'll see it over here, okay? And some looks are a little bit, you know, a little, little sexy, like this top is a little sexy, but the pants, of course, is so... I don't want to say plain, but they're they're pretty and comfortable is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, y'all. Stay tuned. Can you believe the people just left? I don't know if y'all got to hear that. They were just sitting out there in the car. And then they stepped out and then they bagged up and went right on back out down the road. How stupid is that? Okay, y'all. But I know sometimes I've gotten... But usually when I come home, I always forget something. I go inside the house and get what I got to get and get back on the road. All right, y'all. But anyways, I will see y'all in my next video. Please take care of yourself. And let me get done. I cannot believe it's almost 5 o'clock. Y'all, I'm supposed to be done by 5. And I'm not. I cannot believe that. I'm behind today. I may not even... I probably exercise a little bit more. Probably probably a little bit later, maybe. <laughs>
But anyways, I enjoyed talking to y'all. And once again, there was some areas where I had to um, edit because I just know that uh, that may not be like, that's the talk that we do down here, but uh, some of y'all may not understand that. <laughs> so, so yes. But anyways, y'all, I will see y'all in my next video. Please take care and love y'all. I love y'all and I chit chat with y'all and I'm going to continue to chit chat with y'all for a long time. Stay tuned. More real talk over here more real deal what's going on in my life no season on it no kind of like one person say girl you just said with no season on it show don't uh show don't i don't put no season on my talk i tell you exactly what's going on and that's it i'm completely real and i let you know that what i'm going through is completely true and that's just how it is. And I'm so appreciative of all of y'all that do understand. And all of y'all do know what I'm saying. And some of y'all that have experienced stuff that I've experienced. Or some of y'all that have been through hell. And y'all came out. And you might be a little bit of. You might have a little bit of an injury. But you made it through. Y'all know how you feel. I feel amazing. I made it through. I'm here. I'm alive. I feel amazing. I might have a, some injuries, but listen, I made it, okay? I made it through. So, yeah, y'all, let's celebrate. Come on. Get you a Sprite. <laughs> or get you some. I'm supposed to be drinking. Y'all, I got to drink water. I'm going to get in trouble for drinking a Sprite. I'm supposed to be drinking water. Uh, but I gotta have one soda, y'all. I just gotta, I gotta have at least a soda. But anyways, y'all, um, I love y'all a bunch and please take care of y'all selves and y'all, I keep going on and on because I just don't want to stop talking. I want to talk more and more. More and more. I want to talk more and more. I just don't want to stop. Um, I can't wait to create our, I would say our. I can't wait to create a makeup look so I can show y'all these new products. Like, I'm very excited. I can't wait to show y'all the new products. I got some more coming tomorrow. If y'all really want to know, I'll give y'all a little bit of what I have coming tomorrow. I'll tell you what it is, but I ain't going to give you the names of the products, but I can tell you what to look for all right so what i have coming tomorrow i have a foundation i have a highlighter and bronzer palette i have a foundation and concealer stick okay I have a, is that all? Yeah, it's going to be a while for that one, I think. Let me see. I might have a, no, I won't get that till Wednesday. So, yeah. So, it's a foundation, another foundation and concealer product or stick. And then I have a highlighter and a bronzer. And I think that's it. And I might, I'm supposed to have also a cream eye and cheek color type of product. But I don't know if it's going to get here, y'all. It's taking so long. It's not even in transit. And it's supposed to get here tomorrow and it, unless they just not, I don't know what's going on. But anyways, um, then I have this other product that's coming, but it won't get here until... It says until August the 12th, y'all. It's going to be such a good product. It's a, it's like this thing, um, I ain't going to say, but it's very unique and it's going to be very helpful, you guys. I can't wait to show y'all. So now y'all got a little bit of what I'm going to be showing y'all or a little bit of my haul, but I just didn't give the name of the products, but you know what the product is. 
All right, you guys. I will see y'all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share this video. I will greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss a video. And yeah, you guys. I'll see y'all until next time. I love y'all. Kisses. Bye-bye.